Hello, plan friends. So today I am driving to visit Jumanji John. Jumanji John is a collector and seller. He mostly sells on Facebook. I think I would consider him an up and coming seller or maybe he's like up and recently arrived seller on, on Facebook. If you guys are already on the Facebook purge groups and you know some of the plant groups I'm sure you've seen his name he's you know very very energetic very social super nice guy um, yeah he's he's, yeah, he's I think he's on social media uh, quite uh, quite often because every time I I message him he seems to respond back really really quickly so <laughs> I uh, I'm pretty excited to hang out with him today and I hope you guys uh, enjoy this series. I really don't know what to call it yet. So, um, you know, when I figure it out, you guys will we'll see on the titles and stuff. <laughs> All right. So uh, I'll see you guys when uh, I hang out with them. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this works. Cool. Looks good to me. All right. <laughs> Hello plant friends, I'm here with Jumanji John, and um, yeah, say hi, I guess. Hello everyone, nice to meet y'all. So Jumanji John, you want to tell them a little bit about yourself? Uh, I'm just a plant nut, I love all plants, uh, grown up doing this with my grandma honestly, I think that's where it started, maybe when I was just a kid, four or five years old, learning the basics, you know, breaking up root balls, whatever, um, other than that. I'm a building inspector by living. I have, you know, two beautiful daughters, a beautiful fiance. So uh, I am a busy man, but honestly, still the plants take up 90% of my time. I love plants. That's all I can say. <laughs> so, uh, John, you, you you sell plants. Now, yes. Right. Yes. Is, and I think that's that's fairly sort of a, a new thing. Yes, for it's, you. it's only really started in the past three, four months, and it honestly came from Jimmy. Uh, just my love of plants. I realized like, hey, if I bought three of these I might get one for myself for free or hey if I bought ten of these I could get two or three for my friends yes. even you know so that's kind of where it started from and it just spiraled out of control I guess in a fun way yeah I think for people who are thinking about selling um, it's it's a lot harder than it seems right? oh yes I mean, it's yes like, yeah definitely I mean if you want to sell a handful of plants you know that's easy but I think once you step beyond that even just trying to keep inventory alive trying to track everything um, trying to pack everything it's very time-consuming it, it's a full-time job yeah yeah it's it's really time-consuming um, and so you you mostly sell on Facebook correct right and yes. I think that when you're selling on Facebook there are additional challenges right usually for me, when I was selling on Facebook, it was like the communication. Yes. It, it takes a lot of time. Yes, and I would say that's probably the number one thing. Like I said, I spent 95% of my time on plants, and 50% of that is just communicating, trying yeah. to track everything. And recently, you know, my fiance has been helping out a lot, and we, you know, not only have log sheets on the computer and actual physical paper invoices, but it's still something slips through the crack here or there and, and we're a busy family so it's really hard you know and other people in different time zones might be why isn't he replying what's going on you know but really we're just making dinner over here yeah there's there's just so much communication involved um, and I think a lot of it it's just kind of like you're you're getting inquiries right people are asking you you know not anyone's like trying yeah. to waste your time right no no but they're just curious yeah and it's it's just like you know I get 10 messages and only one sale or yes. something, right and it's it's just it's a lot it's a lot of work and, and I don't mind I'm a people person I like talking to everyone I like talking about plants I wish I could do it all day you know it's just responsibility gets in the way so it is a little hard and people want to know well what plants do you have for sale well it'd be easier for you to tell me what plants you're looking for <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know yes yeah, send yeah, me a picture yeah. if you don't know the name send me a picture yeah. what you like you know yeah I think everyone does it a little differently some people on Facebook I know that they they actually have like a list of plants that mm -hmm. they have on sale um, we you know with the prices and stuff other people are sort of like you where it's kind of like you have so many that it's it's a little bit 
harder for and it's still more track. of a hobby for me you yeah. know it's more just of a hobby that happened to turn into a side business and just my love for plants you yeah. know um, maybe one day we'll turn into something bigger yeah. I never know yeah. you know I, I'm honestly Jimmy I know you're from Los Angeles too I'm tired of driving around in the traffic so if I could hang out with my family my plants all day it would be great I think it's a lot more work than people think it is yeah you're trying to like resale the plants it's you know it's a lot of driving around a lot of just communication with people yes it, that's it just takes a lot a lot of time equally shipping there's been numerous nights where I'm over here waiting for my family to go to sleep <laughs> so I could start packing plants early in the morning or something like that you know and it's a lot it's time consuming oh man I, I don't even I <laughs> I feel like I don't sell mostly because of the shipping. The shipping, it, it's, it's really, really time consuming. Yes. Um, uh, I'm the one who mainly takes care of all the plants, unpacks yeah. the plants, everything. But, you know, maybe that's just me needing to let go of a little control. But everyone else, I love the plants so much, don't want to hurt them. So everyone else is starting to help out with it, you know, yeah. and packing them up. And it's hard to find someone else that loves the plants and as much dedication as me <laughs> to, to be my sidekick and help me, though. So let's, I don't know. Let's talk about, uh, let's talk about Facebook. Facebook has has really become a very, very popular uh, platform to, to sell. buy and buy sell. And sell yes. Yeah, buy and sell plants as well as, you know, talk about plants, right? But, mm -hmm. but you know, if we're talking about the, the buying and selling part, there's a lot of Facebook groups now, um, and I know that you do a lot of selling on Facebook. Correct. You know, for, for those who are not doing the Facebook thing, uh, can you tell, you know, those people like explain what like purges are plant purges uh plant purges are mainly you know it's it's a, on facebook and it would be a group generated on there someone created and it could be named whatever it wants but there's a lot of p people that join these groups and occasionally sellers like myself or other people will post on there and we'll list our plants on there and various different methods with a bunch of pictures and you know have at it sometimes they're auction styles sometimes their prices out there but you know, another good thing about the Facebook is you can search and you can find reviews on people and see who else is known and who else has done it before and make sure, no offense to someone trying to start out, but sometimes beginners might not have the packing skills down or might not have everything down. So yeah. Facebook platform is really good for sellers and buyers to get research and information yeah. on, you know? Yeah, no, I think it's a, it's a great community. If, even if you're not buying or selling, you just want to talk to other people who love plants. Uh, it's yeah it's a great community I've met a lot of friends through Facebook yeah, already I that I it didn't even know you know and <laughs> people that same boat as me people come over here with their kids you know we have a pond in the backyard kids will be feeding the fish whatever we hang out it's it's fun it's open we've met a lot of friends through the Facebook yeah, plant community yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I think the plant purges have have really become really really popular on Facebook basically they think you know people just like list tons of plants with their prices and then it's kind of like a First come, first serve. Auction first, at it, yep, uh-huh. Yeah, first, uh, first type. First type, and it's it's lightning you know, fast sometimes. Particular yeah, plants can it's, sell it's, out in minutes, yeah. you know? Um, I, I think I've I think I've tried tried to participate in one months and months ago, uh, but but I never I was never fast enough to, to buy any. And then so now like occasionally I will Quite honestly, watch. Jimmy, <laughs> I've only ever bought and bought three plants in a purge, maybe. Yeah. Um and it was just a plant that was so beautiful I couldn't have I couldn't help it. I had to have it, you know. Yeah. And I rolled the dice, but I, I'm still nervous every time I get one too in the mail. But do your research yeah. and you can usually see who's done it before and find something good on Facebook, you know. I, I love Facebook. It's fun. It's it's kinda entertaining for us to post something and I might turn around for two minutes and turn around, there's twenty comments. I'm like, Whoa, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm overwhelmed, it, you it know. Is, yeah, you I think it's very easy to get overwhelmed when yes. you're doing these purges. Screenshot me. Screenshot me your yeah. sold comment, please. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think I had a, a few friends who, like, tried it, and they sold, like, five plants on a purge, and they said it was just, like, it totally tired. It totally tired. It, it's a four. I say a purge for me. Start, you know, I'll start posting, and I'll take pictures of stuff, and I'll get prices ready. I'll start posting. So from the minute I type a purge to the end of the day, you know, finally, like, okay, I'm done. I've gone through most of the comments. Did I send most people an invoice that didn't have a question? I bet it's a four to five hour deal. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, that's not even that's not even packaging the plants. No. That's not even acquiring no. the plants or thinking about what plants you're purging. That's purely just like the purge 
and the communication, invoices. And that's only and probably 80% or so of the communication because there's still people, hey, did you need a heat pack? What's your zip code? Oh, wait, but what else do you got? Can I add this on? And you're just like, well, you're going to get lost oh, in the mix. Wait yeah. till I send 50 people tracking numbers, and then your message where we're just talking is 50 people down. Yeah. It gets overwhelming. Yeah. I, I think that, yeah, I, you know, I think that for people who are just, just collectors, just buyers, just, you know, I just want you guys to understand that there's, there's a lot of stuff behind that the happens, you know, on the seller side. Yes. Uh, you know, and we're not even talking about like growers and then sellers, right? There's, there's a reason why there are a lot of resellers in plants because a lot of growers, they just have, they just need to unload tons and tons of plants mm -hmm. at a time from their facility. They're not going to like, they don't bother with the people who just want it's like one plant, right? Like if they, if a grower has hundreds or thousands of plants, they're not going to like care about you wanting one, one. or five, maybe even, or even yeah. 10, just yeah. because they need to move hundreds, if yeah. not thousands of them. Yep. They need, yeah, exactly. They need to move it so that they can grow. Yeah. They plants. can grow more. And yeah. then us, that's where our, you know, my position comes in, you know, yeah. and, and we could sell them and not to say that I don't grow my own, but I just can't keep up with the oh, yeah, demand. You can't. Oh, there, there's no way you no can way. keep up with like the corporations. Oh, there's, there's no way. <laughs> yeah. No yeah. way. No way you can yeah. keep up. We could try. It's fun. But, uh, no, it's hard to compete with big corporations. Yeah, yeah. Um, these are the ones that. So these are the ones that have sold. Yes, this is the shipping lane. <laughs> um, you know, we start with the boxes over there. We have the paper. Grab a paper. Yeah. Too much. We wrap it up. Um, we have the bubble wrap over there, Jimmy. Um, wow, this is yeah. This is uh, yeah. We make sure we have it's, stickers. It's, you know, people can be rare. We uh, beware that there's a live plant. Huge roll of uh, saran wrap. This is just the lane rubber band, you know, different masking tapes. Um, it's a galore. yeah, it's a it's a thing. It's Arsenal a... of heat packs, you know, uh, which Amazon's been slacking. Sorry, everyone, they're coming. Um, oh. oh wow, yeah, you even have a yes, yeah. Just it's just a it's just a bunch of it's, stuff. It's it's real. It's a <laughs> yeah, it's a full time. It's a deal. thing. It's a thing. Yeah, I mean, like there's an arsenal of variegated Sigonians right here waiting to go out, nice. all sold. These are popular. These Very are popular. popular. I think well rated. Yes. I think uh, super fun, very classy. Easy to grow. Easy to grow, yeah. But you do got to pay, right? Uh, some people, they cost some money. They do cost some money. It's weird how they cost, considering how fast and how easy they are to grow, they uh, do The cost, price is a little over, yeah, overpriced. Yeah, the price, it's a little bit overpriced, but I think the hype is worth it. Me too. I'll yeah. show you the one inside I, of that I, eight I, inch pot I, I really like it. Beautiful. The that would be plant. an overrated plant, Jimmy. The Maranta? Actually, I just don't like it. It's it's very difficult. It likes a lot of humidity. The leaves will get crispy. I'm not I'm not afraid to tell people to not get it. I may not be the best salesman, but uh, I um yeah I don't I don't know. Uh... I don't even know how popular it is. It's very com it's it, I would say it's, it's cool. more of the common ones, right? It looks cool. It's very common. Yeah. Just yeah. very picky. Yeah. These two people seem to like these a lot. Just a little polka dot plant. I just like to have a little something for everyone. I just like the color. Yeah. But this is shipping alley. Let's go down the row and Oh wow, okay. So you have uh jeez, yeah, you really you really went serious on this. You have a, a your scale. Own scale, yep, because you need to do that. There's too. a printer over these, there. These shipping. This is just, you know, twine. We have the bobby pins when we pin stuff down. You know, the 99 cent store. We got our stickers, tags, labels. Here's all the cloning stuff, everyone. I mean, number one, number eight, number 16, Clonex gel, the KK paste, or however you pronounce it. Um, Kiki or KK? Uh -huh. yeah, is it KK? I don't know. I mean, uh, either. I don't, I don't know. know either. Man, so, this mean, is a, yeah, this is like a serious, like, work bench, yes, packaging bench. Yes, it's, it's a lot. Mm -hmm. We probably fill up that container full of soil every week. Yeah. We have enough to fill up just from taking all the plants out of the pot. So. Yeah. See. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. This is this is nuts. We make our own soils too, Jimmy. Um. We oh have my. the chunky mix over here. Oh yeah. Do you, do you sell soil? Do people I, ask? I will locally if I just started making it mainly for myself because I got tired of yeah. mixing it up. So we have the chunky. I just have like your basic soil down there. Yeah. It's like a fluffy mix for caladiums and yeah. calacasias and stuff. But yeah, I will sell it as people come and ask. Yeah. As this, you know, buying season's coming, mm -hmm. for people who are thinking about, hey, I'm going to try Facebook, what, what are your recommendations? Man, I 
if you want to try Facebook. The only thing I could say is, you know, I'm not the most tech savvy with the social media either. I'm getting into it more. Um, all I could say is use that search bar. Research yeah. stuff. Type in the name of your plant that you want. See what other people are selling it for. You know, make sure you're yeah. getting a fair price, you know. And yeah. maybe yours is a little expensive, but maybe it's a nicer plant. Just because one person's selling it for 20 and the other person's selling it for 60 doesn't mean they all have to be 20 necessarily. Yes, yes. yes. Or vice yeah. versa. You know, so just do your research and compare. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I think that, you know, especially like new collectors, sometimes they're, you know, they see like, you know, one plant, the same plant, right? One for 20 bucks and one for 60 bucks. Mm -hmm. And then they're like, they get really mad at the person that's selling it or yeah. listing it for $60. But, you know, you don't, you don't really know what's, what's behind that 60, right? Like, did they grow it from seed? Yeah. Is it like a really funky version? Is yes. it larger? Is it more unique? Like you just don't, you know, it's really hard to compare. Yes, there are some people that are selling a $20 plant and they want 60 for it. Yes, right? that yes. happens. Very yes. true. Yes, all You're, the time. Right? Uh -huh. but, but I think that it's it's not a good thing for us to automatically assume the worst. Yeah case situation right like I, I have a lot of rare plants and then you know some some unique ones here or there and people will be like oh well, how much for that and then I'll, I'll tell them a price you know and it also has my emotional value attached yes. to it yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know yeah, yeah exactly which usually doubles it yeah. but you know and they're like well no way i saw it over here for that much yeah. you're crazy or hey did you know you yeah. can get that at the 99 cent store i'm like oh really what, where's yeah. that at yeah. now have fun uh, over there i i have to say that like when i sell like my personal plants, the mm -hmm. plants that have been in my collection. Oh, it's pretty for a while, hard. Like they're more expensive. I, I just, it's just like the emotion. Right, you're, you're saying the price oh, yeah. might double. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the prices are. I would say, yeah, they are higher, and I don't know. I, I can't know put a why. percentage on it, but yeah. it, I, I, I don't, don't think know. It, I don't think it's conscious too. Right? I'm, I'm, it's really. Like, I, I can name one. My ring of fire over here. You know, maybe we'll see it later, but. I love this particular one, and I see them going for you know whatever seventy five, a hundred dollars all day, but. No yeah, way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No way. Yeah, I don't think it's conscious on, on our you know parts. I, I think it's just like automatically you kind of think about it as being more special or yeah. more valuable. Um, so anyways, just as a, you know, if you're looking around and you're, you know, you're thinking about buying, if, you know, there's a plan out there that you think is overpriced or whatever, just let it be. Like, you don't have to, com you know, don't be mean about yeah, it. Yeah, just be just, positive about it. Yeah, yeah move on. Yeah, whatever. exactly. Just move on. Just ignore it. You know, Go find a plant. Get a laugh out of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, sometimes I see prices and I was like, whoa, yeah. wow. Yeah. Hey, get over here and look at this. this yeah, is I think, yeah, I think, like, let it go. Take a laugh out of it. Also, you know, you may try to figure out why it is True. So, as expensive as True. it is. True. Yeah, right. maybe you could dig deeper and educate yourself. Yeah. Uh, like you said, it was something rare, it was something unique. Oh, yeah. look, it, uh, I didn't know that only one out of ten looked like this, you know, yeah. or one out of whatever exactly. looked like this, yeah. Yeah. you know, so yeah. it is special, that's why that guy, not my cup of tea, Yeah. but, you know, I see it, why. Ex exactly, yeah. Um, so I think, like, for me, when I, when I, when people ask me about Facebook or social media, you know, Facebook and social media, you know, Facebook and Instagram, um, yeah, a lot of people are selling and buying plants on those. Mm -hmm. They don't have a rating system, right, like, when you yeah. sell on, like, eBay, or, or if you had a storefront with Yelp. Yes, exactly, right? Like Facebook sellers and sellers, yeah, and growers and Instagram people, they, they don't have like a rating attached to them. I think you kind of have to be a little bit more patient and give it a little bit more time. I think for you, right, like, like you said, like if they spend a week or two weeks on Facebook or any of those groups, they're going to see your name. Yeah, like you, yeah. You are pretty prolific. It with, pops with, up a lot. Yeah, yeah it amazes me. Yeah, it blows my mind too because I'm just over right? here loving yeah, plants. You, that's you, it. Yeah, you like you comment. You you have things for sale. Mm -hmm. You know, people interact with you. You interact yeah. with other people, right? Like that's fun for and, me. And yes, exactly. You, and you you enjoy it. And other people, you know, other people enjoy active members in the community. Yeah. So so yeah, really realistically, all they need is like a week or two. To sort of familiarize themselves. Yeah, you know what? It wouldn't take very much. You're right. I mean, yeah. two weeks of seeing, well, all right, I've only seen this person post one time and yeah. offer one plant, but I've seen this yeah. name ten times, so yeah. you might tend to lead toward the ten, you yeah. know, yeah. Who, or who, whoever's, Yeah, it's a way to see who, who, yeah. who's more professional with it or who's done it more often, yeah. you know? So, yeah, so, yeah, guys, if, you, if you're thinking about buying on Facebook this season, uh, just give it a little bit more time, right? Like, it's, just don't. Just go in and buy the... Join some groups. Yeah. 
join groups. join all the groups and you can you can get rid of them later but uh <laughs> join some groups and uh figure it so out many, so many groups. and let it fill your news feed up and you'll see like uh, who's yeah. the good one who's not yeah. you know all right john so um you have a family mm -hmm. you have a job yes like a full-time non-plant related job 16 years right? in it uh-huh and this whole plant thing sort of went from Maybe not zero, but maybe like ten mm -hmm. to like one fifty, yes. two hundred. Yes. You went, yeah. Yeah. Quick. You yeah. You went from probably a small collection to much rarer plants, much bigger collections, and then much more maintenance, much right? more time consuming. Yeah. And then now you're selling, so you have to keep an inventory. Yeah. Right? Plants that are and in keep addition. Keep inventory alive. Yeah. You know? Plants that are in addition to your regular Personal collection. collection. Yes. How has your your family taking it or how how have you fitted in to your busy schedule I would say the most the only way I've done it is just completely blow off 95% of my regular responsibilities. Okay, okay. Great. Honestly, I'm completely <laughs> overwhelmed over here. It is insane, Great. Jimmy. Great. Ignore the family, ignore yeah. the job. Yeah, uh, just don't go to the zoo, no park trips, okay. um, regular your regular 9 to 5, just okay. show up late, yeah. you know, 2 or 3 hours late to your job if your boss is cool with that. Luckily, I'm the boss, but uh yeah, Jimmy, it's been a lot. I'm still in the transitional phase. Excellent advice there, John. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Go ahead, everybody. See how that goes for you. <laughs> Your boss will love it. But no, it is... Um, just try to get more organized, Jimmy. That's one thing I could say. I try to get more organized, try to stay clean. Um, my family's been helping out a lot. Yeah. So that's it. Just don't be afraid to invest in things, too. If you're a seller, try. don't be afraid to invest that are going to make things easier for you. It seems like your your family has really pitched in and they kind of really embraced this this hobby, yeah. side gig, career thing. Uh, my fiance <laughs> definitely helps out a lot and she helps me keep my head straight because if not, I would, oh my gosh, I'd be all over the place. You guys would be getting the wrong plans sent to the different address and who oh, knows. Yeah. You know, I'm very good at talking and being personable and all that. And I'm also very organized, but... Sometimes it's a, lot. It's, a lot. it's a lot, and my fiance helps out a lot. Uh, my kids help out a lot, whether it's cleaning or moving plants, and it's kind of fun as a family, though. You know, you can ask my kids about perlites or hoyas <laughs> or whatever, and they know all about it. You know, <laughs> put a drainage layer in there. You know, so it's it's fun. It's 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 been good. Well, maybe one day it will turn into something bigger. You know. Yeah. yeah. So I guess you guys split the responsibility of uh, watering. Potting is that kind of oh that something that like you guys you, you let Jimmy? The girls I think do? I, I no, I think I'm such a nut with the Jimmy <laughs> that I do it all. I I try to let go of some responsibility, but uh, as far as planning them and stuff, yeah, my fiance she helps out. She does some of them, but I think it's me. I need to learn to let go, Jimmy. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, oh, don't break that yeah, elbow yeah, leaf. You, don't touch that. Ah, so she everyone tries to help out, but uh, I I need to learn to let go a little bit. I think yeah. it's part of it. So well, I think I think. He, you're gonna get to that point where you sort of have to. Yeah, I'm or there. Else. Yeah, I'm there. I'm like, if, if if you're not already there. Yeah, I'm there for sure. There's no way I can maintain all this without my family. Like, it, it's insane. And my personal collection is so big that that's it right there. That's even hard for me to take care of. Yeah. So to add in the business, no way I could do it. I, and if it gets any busier, anyone know any friends locally that need a job? Man, it is it is busy. It's crazy. So, uh, but it's fun. I enjoy it. And I'm excited. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And uh, till next time, happy planting.